We got what we were looking for. Uh, this should help out quite a bit. I need to make one more stop. That one's shiny. Don't like the dual console though. Me personally. Side track. Ooh, shiny. Side track. Ooh, no leg room. Look at that. I hate dual consoles. Unless it's like a full windshield model, then there's plenty of leg room.
because my neighbor just started mowing. Might wait for him to be done before we get on with this. Just so you don't have to listen throughout. Listen to the dude mowing throughout the old video. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out quick and see if it fits. Kind of what I'm thinking. guys I think what the plan is gonna be and I know it's probably gonna be a little long but I think I'm gonna mount this right here along this side of the bed if I can get it tied up on here somehow or another This will be perfect. It's almost the perfect fit. Kind of a bummer that these spots are going to be covered over here, but it'll still be usable. The only issue with this is, uh, guys, basically makes those lights that I put in here useless. So those are going to have to be moved somewhere else. If you remember those lights, I stuck up there if you didn't see that video i'll link that down below and there's the mower again all right i'm gonna give this a few minutes let that guy finish mowing and then i'll get back to the video all right guys we're gonna get to this it's been a couple hours let that guy finish mowing his lawn so since uh i had some time i was taking a look at how all this stuff was gonna mount and i realized that there was really no great way to run these um, I thought about just sticking it on the uh, the curtain rod itself, but I, it's just not going to work right. So I ran back to the store and I grabbed these. They're little, they're J bolts, or what they're called. Let me take that sticker off of there. So here we go. It's a J bolt, pretty small, uh, and I've got four of those because on this thing here, uh, there's one of these on each end, and then there's actually two in the middle. So I need to support it in two places in the middle here. So what I'm gonna do with these little J hooks, the plan for this is to, oh, let me make a move in here. <laughs> so it's gonna be like right in here, one at that end and one at this end. But underneath here, yeah, I gotta move these lights. There's a gap all the way along there. So, what I'm gonna do is in this lip here, there's a little lip that I can drill through. And this is all fiberglass, it's pretty thick. It's gonna support enough of it. So I'm gonna drill right through this end right here. And I'm gonna sink this in and bolt it on both sides. We're gonna bolt on both sides. And that hook's gonna sit there like that. And then those D-rings can just clip over those hooks. Same thing here in the middle. It's just gonna sit like that. But it'll be screwed right in there. So, I've got my drill here. I've got my drill bits here. That lighting's terrible. I've got some drill bits here and some drill. I have some washers and uh, oop, some spoons everywhere. Spill them everywhere. Some washers and some nuts. So I have two nuts for each one of these. So I guess to start with, I'm just gonna, I guess, drill as far down as I can. I mean, that's as far down as I can go right there that curves down so I'm gonna go right in this corner piece here and then I'll mount the mount this end of it down there and I'll pull it tight and I'll see where I need to drill my next hole at so let's get to this I guess all right guys so I'm not really worried about like pushing through and hitting the bed it doesn't bother me at all uh, but I do want to get it kind of close as close to the edge as possible without being like too close where there's nothing to buy it on. I'm a little worried it's gonna like start ripping at the carpet as I stick the drill bit through, but there ain't much else we can do about that. At least 
not that I can think of. So we're gonna go right there. I'm just gonna leave that on there. I think it should go through pretty quick, but we'll see here. Yep. All right, so we've got a hole. Let's grab our first J hook. Put a washer on the outside. I'm gonna run this all the way down at this point. Put a washer on there. And then I've got a second washer here. So I've got a little bit of bigger washer that's gonna go on the inside just to give it more service area to hold on to. Grab my second nut. And that should slide right through there, maybe. Carpet's probably a little tight. I might have to thread it in, which is fine. Get it in there far enough so I can get the, the nut on the back started. It's gonna be the hardest part. There we go, I got it. I should be able to pretty much bottom this thing out and then tighten it down. I don't wanna run it into the metal and start pushing that out. So I think that's good there. Got two three eighths wrenches here. So I can tighten this down. It's tight. That ain't going anywhere. Go like that. I guess I can bring this back out. And actually, it's kind of nice. It gives me somewhere to hang my lock chain. <laughs> they would always fall back behind there, so that's kind of nice to have. Okay, let's get the first side of this thing stuck on here. I guess. This is just going to do that. And now I'll, I'll kind of get it fairly tight. And I'm going to go down to the other end here. If you can see me, I'm going to drill a hole right here. And we'll just go down and drill the other two after that. Just like that. Where's my drill at? Right here. Bottom that one out pretty quick. Bam. Okay. Now, how do I attach this end one? Because it's too long. Just a little bit too long. And the bummer part is like these pockets are covered by my thing, but I've got these big open things down here and those will be nice to throw my clothes or like my shoes in keep them off the floor but yeah as you can see it's gonna come around the corner here so it's almost like I need to hold this and fold it right there and keep that maybe I might do that although that's well no that'll be perfect if I do that right there I think I'm gonna do that that's what's gonna happen so what I'm doing is there's this pocket down here these two pockets and this pocket here I fold it right at that seam. It's basically the right length. And then I've got one other thing I'm going to do as I'm sitting back here sweating. Another storage thing. So if you did have an eight foot bed on your truck, this you could stretch this thing out as, as far as it needed to go and it would be absolutely perfect. And uh, had I been able to make it all the way to the very end of the bed, might have worked but I think with the tailgate closed it would have been pushing on it anyway so it's kind of nice to have it just an inch or so away from the tailgate all right so that's gonna go like so right there and I need to go pin this together so it's gonna hang appropriately but there we go just like that. Yep, let me go grab some safety pins, see if I can find some.
right. Grab some safety pins. We're gonna get this rolling. This will be pretty easy to take care of here. So where that needs to fold. Where that needs to fold. Ho, 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 ho. So I'll show you this on the end. This whole thing is kind of hollow, kind of hollow in it. So this is made to strap like to the side of a, a cot. And then on this, you could run your, if you had a rifle, you could set it in there. If you have fishing poles, you can set it in there. So it'll be useful also. I could, if I have two piece poles, since my bed isn't long enough, if I had an eight foot bed, it would work like I said, but if I had two piece poles, I could stick them in here uh, in the back of this thing. So that's also kind of a nice feature of it, but. Hey, somebody else is mowing, tight. Wait two hours, I waited too long. So as you can see, I've got all this storage now. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to move those lights. I need to clean that up because you can see that pin there. I could pull this out a little farther, but I don't really want to. So that's not perfect, but the bed's not long enough to mount this actually how it needs to be mounted. So I've got a little pocket here. I've got two here, a zipper pouch on the front. There's a big zipper pouch here. It goes all the way in. I've got your cup holder. And you've got two big elastic bins here. And then, like I said, on the end here, it's completely open. So you can slide fishing poles or a rifle or whatever you needed, you could slide up in that area. One thing done. Let's move on to the next thing. I've got one more thing I want to show you guys that I figured would uh, be a little bit beneficial in here. I went and picked up this. This is from Walmart just a back seat organizer. This is made to go on the back seat of your car. And it like straps around your headrest. And you've got this whole section here open. You've got a, like a Velcro elastic pouch there and there. You've got little, oh, you can stick pens or whatever. Some pockets here, a pocket there. And then another nice part of it is, this is on the back of your seat to be at an angle a bit. So you've got this here and that opens up. You've got two little cubbies which I would assume are like to hold a drink, and you've got a little table there. Don't really necessarily need that, but it'll be nice to have, but what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna mount it to the side of my file cabinet here. So what I'm gonna do is just stick this thing right there, and it fits about perfect, as you guys can tell. So that gives me a little bit more space to, uh, to keep all my stuff organized. And what I'm gonna do with this, I think Velcro should hold it. And I don't know, it, it's, it's all if the Velcro sticks. I've got some of this Velcro left that I used when I did the uh, screen on the back window here. So I'm just gonna run a strip across here and hope that it holds on. So, I'm gonna peel all that off, tighten this up. Just going to lay it right on there. Don't think that's coming off. Just got a piece of Velcro there. All right, so we're gonna st stick this piece on here. Pull it tight. Stick it on. Push it down. Peel this piece off. And I could do this on the bottom too, but honestly, I'm just gonna let it hang. It'll be absolutely fine. There we go. Got Velcro strip on the back of there. Sticky stuff off. And I'm just gonna split the difference. It's a little bit wider. It's like three quarters of an inch wider, but that's fine. I'm gonna kind of split the difference, make sure it's 
level. Just stick it on there. There we go. So that'll sit just like so. Gives me uh, all this storage now along the wall there. I've got all these pockets. I've got places to stick my shoes or dirty clothes. I can stick stuff in the end there. And now I've also got this space that if I want to, you know, stick my phone in there at night, you know, I use this as a table sometimes, but this is also nice to have that this folds down. Normally I don't have that fan there. I'm just trying to keep cold. We'll move that over here. It gives me a little extra table, I guess, uh, kind of like counter space if I'm preparing stuff in here, doing anything. I now have like a little three-tiered table that just folds back up. Really simple little mods. Uh, this was $20. I think this was $10. You know, I've got Velcro. I've got a little bit into the hardware. There's obviously different ways you could mount that yourself. If you had an eight-foot bed, that would fit perfectly. I am kind of covering the end of it here, but I knew I was going to be doing that. I wish that was a little tighter up there like that but that's fine. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with those lights that I mounted back there. I think I'm gonna have to move those up here, uh, which is kind of where I tended to put them in the first place. But this is kind of neat. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this and honestly, let's see this fan here. Normally when I travel, I'll either like, this is supposed to go under the bed to be put away. But a lot of times I just throw it on the floor in here and it just flies around in the back. And I bet I can put this in the back, put this on here. First use. That's nice. So obviously you can't run it like that because the back's not open. If the back was mesh, that'd be kind of cool. But there we go. It's there. There's a place to hang it. And this, these things, I'm never going to have enough weight in there that these are going to break or that I shouldn't break any of that uh, as tight as it's screwed down in here anyways but take that out so you've got all that space uh, I kind of thought about putting this here to left that fold up and put it there but that wasn't gonna fit so there we go man uh, we're doing a few more mods here and there to the truck that should really help out and keep everything nice in fact I'm gonna go grab I think I've got a two-piece fishing pole up there I'm gonna go grab that and see kind of how that fits in this little uh, the sling on the back of this thing but it's give you one one more look back here and I don't have anything loaded in any of this stuff yet guys but you know just my koozie here I've got a perfect place to put my koozie and if I need to set my drink down and I can I can stick it in there you know I you know I usually take my GoPro and everything and I throw it up there but hell I can stick it in there and that's kind of like a little point where if I wanted to film going this direction I didn't have to use that so I mean there's different things you can do with it but you know that'll be nice i've just kind of got a spot for everything now like this remote for the lights has been floating around well i can just stick it in there you know i've got a little spot for everything now that should be open by in there but it's not but, you know everything's got a spot now everything is going to have a spot Ooh, that goes all the way to the bottom i didn't know it was gonna do that give me my remote back <laughs> okay i got it almost pooped myself in the process but there we go and this instead of just leaving this dangling around I could do that if I need to unplug it so multiple different things to do I'll turn those lights on cannot see them at all imagine if it's dark out you might see a little glow at the bottom but yeah those lights are gonna have to be moved that's kind of a bummer but I expected that when this crossed my mind that I was gonna have to move those so it's not a huge deal these are always floating around back here stick those in there bam all right, I've grabbed my ultralight. This is a two-piece rod. Take that apart. I can just go ahead. Should be able to just slide this on in there. Now, obviously, I probably should uh, put my reel, hold my reel up if possible. I think this is. I think this one will fold up. Yeah. Give me that number. That should just slide right up in there. Boom. So I've got fishing pole storage now. Normally when I put them back here, they're just thrown on the floor if I have a two-piece. So that's nice. I can stick them in there and keep them out of the way. Go ahead and pull that back out. So 
so there we go guys i'm gonna go ahead and close the video out here uh with a couple of very simple mods which i really wish that would stay over i need to kind of stiffen that up somehow but a couple of simple cheap mods like i said this was 20 bucks from cabela's and i believe that was ten dollars from walmart you could probably find this stuff cheaper on amazon if you looked uh but a couple really simple mods and i've managed to increase my storage space i mean by quite a bit in my opinion for what i've got because you know i've got the bed i've got this i've got that little tote that i carry my food in but other than that this is all open and unused space and there's a lot of guys that will uh schmoing is long whatever there's a lot of guys that will uh build out like wooden cabinets all over the side and i didn't want anything permanently attached i can pull this right out you know if i have to pull these hooks out that's not a big deal so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and close this out since my neighbor's mowing his lawn and uh stay tuned for the next adventure we're about to do some camping so stay tuned i'll see you in a bit